Rode Wireless Go was built by elf demons that want to sacrifice their firstborn child to an iguana master hidden in the swamps of New Mexico. We got off on the wrong foot on this one. That, that went haywire fast. That went southbound. The Rode Wireless Go is the dumbest suggestion I get for the solution that I didn't even have a problem to. I hate that mic so much, even though I want it. I, I kind of want, I wish. But we're going to talk about why I would never, ever buy this thing. Ever. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Life presents many a problem to us. If you keep putting your underwear on backwards, just Google it. The fix, just turn them around. You're okay. If you're boiling a bunch of potatoes, you got the water, then you're trying to pour out the water, but the steam's rising and it's burning your hands. You blow at it. You blow the steam away. Or put on gloves, oven mitts, Mr. Millionaire with your oven mitts. The Rode Wireless Go on the surface seems to solve a lot of problems. You want a lav mic, but you don't want to plug it in, because then you can't, you can only move as far as your cord. Look at that Sony autofocus. Oh my god. Does it have acne detection? Oh no. They just bought a Rode Wireless Go. They made a mistake. So if I wanted to make a video outside where I'm standing pretty far away from the camera, still wanting good audio, you would need either one of those Zoom H1s, and then you plug your lab, but then you gotta sync it after. Or, the convenience factor of the century, this Rode Wireless Go that's so benign and beneficial to all of us. Is it? Oh, is it? Whenever I see somebody with that Rode clip on their shirt, the giant piece of billboard cut out there, I, it reminds me of one of those people that stand outside a pizza joint with a big sign, and they're spinning it, and, come on in for pizza. <laughs> Why don't you just get Nike tattooed on your left eyelid, you moral lacking sewer rat. I see these sewer freaks with the road go and it's just a big road and a clip. And it's like this, this is in your shot. Road, please buy road. You're a damn walking billboard. You threw out your dignity whenever I see the road flap that I flinge when I see it. So please, for the love of Jesus's mailman, you plug a lav mic into that at least, try to hide something. Even though most of my show was me with a giant furry wind muff here for no reason indoors. Just tapped right on there. I don't care. But the real problem I have with this thing, nobody seems to care about this, but this thing is beaming radiation right at your neck. Do you, do you want thyroid AIDS? Cause that's what you're getting right at there. Just. Yeah, beam these powerful signals right at my neck, please. Right there, so my audience can hear me. How did we get so dumb as a people together? Like Apple Watches. Who's wearing that? Are you wearing one? What? If Steve Jobs died. He was like 41 years old of cancer. The guy ate super healthy too. He's all into fruits and vegetables and died of cancer. In my opinion, I have no idea. I haven't looked into it one bit. Take this with a grain of salt and throw it. Throw it outside your window, leave it for a cat. Don't even pay attention to what I'm about to say. But I think him being surrounded by all these iPhones and he's testing them all and all day long, he's holding this radioactive device that's just beaming energies of the mystery world at him. It can't be good, there's no way. I made that video about all photographers being blind as bats. It's because they're holding this supercomputer up to their face all day long, especially sports shooters. Out there all day, NFL game, three and a half hours, all right, let's do this. Let's do it. There's a bunch of stupid shit that humans do. One of them is holding a phone for any prolonged period of time, holding, playing games. I see people on the subway, they can't stand a second alone with their own thoughts, that they just, oh, just, Tetris, candy colors. How many candy colors can I match? Four pinks. I'm making progress in my life. This is amazing. Who cares about my thoughts and my worries? Sure, my marriage is ending. <laughs> That's fine. Candy crush. Crush it. Blue. Oh, no. I put the red one in. Maybe you're watching this video right now with a laptop on your lap radiating your genitals so that your next baby is going to be bad at math for sure. And maybe can't even hold a candle to a golf rat.
Or maybe you have your desktop computer right here, right on your desk, right as just touch it within arm's reach. Mine's as far away as it can get. I can't even, I couldn't reach it if I tried. It's as far as my mouse will stretch. In the standing position, of course. Standing desk available down below. No, they're not. I'm not convinced that most technology is even safe to be near, let alone held for a long time. Most smartphones have that SAR reading, this super active radiation levels, that you have to be under a certain sh threshold. <laughs> and I don't think that number, who came up with that number? It's not safe, there's no level of safety here. So to buy a device that's beaming Bluetooth technology, which is like super powered Wi-Fi at your neck, it's just not safe, it's not intelligent, it costs money, it doesn't even sound that good, needs batteries, you got oh, my battery, I'll admit it's super convenient. Just plug it in, plug it in there, plug it in here, you're good to go. You have audio, you're not tethered, you can walk, go make a sandwich, people can hear you making your evil sandwich full of wheat gluten. You don't even care about it, you don't even care. I saw a woman eating a bagel the other day, I was like, that's gluten. Just whatever matters, huh? Nothing to you. I'm not saying this Rode Wireless Go is gonna cause disease in your body. I'm just saying it's adding burden for sure. And we need to be in this day and age where there's like chemtrails and exhaust and mercury and everything. It's like, we need to take some control back, eat a healthy diet and put all things in your favor. Go for walks in nature, like be living healthy. The more you put these electronics near you, it's a weakening factor. And then you eat some bad food, there's another weakening factor. And you drink alcohol at night, ooh, weakness more. You beer bitch, beer belly bitch. So I personally don't care how convenient that thing would be, I'd rather have an external recorder and sync it up after, even though that thing's beaming off a little bit. But it's a tiny amount, it's battery powered, almost nothing. Whereas this is signals that can reach 200 meters away, and you're gonna stand within a couple feet of it. Super radiation blasting miles away and you're right at the front end of it. Superman's gaze just looking right at your face. He could see the Pluto and he's looking right at you. So same thing with any wireless, your keyboard. How do you think it's communicating? Something's beaming at you. You think it just stops at your keyboard? It goes right into your face. So call me paranoid. Better safe than sorry. I'll tell you that much. And I'm sure they could shield it to work. I know aliens have figured this shit out. It's like, oh yeah, that's a beam. Okay, we contain it. Still get the message somehow through this. This is how it works. I'm not sure how, but it... So I just had to get this off my chest. I get a lot of suggestions for the stupid mic. And every time I think, you're a sloth creature. What a dumb design of an animal that was. Why does it move so slow? What's its purpose here? just slowly moves and then eats leaves. It poos on itself so predators won't eat it. It's like, this is my defense. Then you have to smell that all day? You're a sloth, you're a freak. You sloth freak. So wires are your friend, kind of. Better than the beaming shit, that's for sure. Proven by science. That's what I'm all about here, proof. So we're done. Let me know your thoughts. Do you have the Rode Wireless Go? Are you gonna go make a video right now with it? And you'll take the neck radiation cancer. So wear a scarf, asshole. Yeah. A lead one. You might live. We're done. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one.